this video we're gonna be covering exactly how to recreate this Imangaji title sequence animation. This is a super valuable skill to master since you can pretty much take what you learn from this animation and apply it to every single YouTube video you edit in the future. You'll find all the assets we'll be working on in the description below, so go ahead and grab those and we'll get straight into After Effects. Alright, now we're inside After Effects and this is the animation we're gonna be recreating. It's not that complicated as it may look. The first thing I'm gonna do is make a new composition, so click here and make a new comp. I'll just name this Eman animation, something like that, doesn't really matter. Make the width 1920 by 1080. Frame rate can be 30, that's nice, and just background color black. Duration can be as long as you want, doesn't really matter. Great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and import the assets, so these ones, I'm just gonna drag them and put them over here. Great. And now if we break this animation down, you can see the background, this grid floor, the skyline or the city landscape, whatever you call it. And then you have all these assets in the front. So it's not that complicated, really just about four parts which we need to do. And we're going to start off by making the background. So right click here and make a new solid and just make it black. And you're going to want to add a gradient ramp. So this one, you can also find them here, but I use the plugin whatever you prefer. And now you can place these dots on the left and on the right, just like he had. And I'm gonna make the start of the color a really light blue, so something like this. And the second color I'm gonna make a bit darker of a blue, trying to kind of recreate what he had. Maybe something like this. I'll make the second blue even lighter, so kind of like that. Yeah, make this a bit darker. Doesn't obviously have to be exact. You can by the way, you can do whatever colors you want. You don't have to, I wouldn't even recommend you to recreate this exactly. It'd be cool to see how you come up with this. Just try to try to use whatever colors you like. You don't have to copy. I'm just copying here to show you exactly what to do. But yeah, all right, so now we're gonna duplicate this solid. So Command D, and you wanna change the colors up a bit. So I'm gonna make the white a little bit of a darker blue and just something like this. Now you wanna add a grid effect. So add a grid and it's gonna look something like this. Now Iman had the grid really small, so what you can do is you can grab this dot and you can just make it like this. Really simple. And what I'll do is I'll make the border 3, that's what I usually do, and maybe decrease the opacity a bit. Well, it doesn't really need to. And then you wanna change the blending mode to normal. And now you wanna make it a 3D layer. So click this box thingy here and you're gonna see these thing is in the screen and you're gonna grab this red circle thing with, and it's gonna say X. Grab it and just slide it to minus 90 and then grab this blue thingy and just drag it down. Awesome, now we have a floor and now you can see the floor is not quite big enough so I'm just gonna kind of scale it up and move it down a bit more and you can even move it away. Guess something like this. And what I'll also do is I'll add a CC repetile effect, so this one, and this way we can easily make it appear like it's further away. So this expand up thing, you can just increase that a lot. And you can also increase the width. So kind of like this. Colors are a bit messed up there. So I'm just going to kind of scale this up and bring it down, bring it down a bit more and just try to get the, get something like this. This looks really good. Now I'm going to make the city landscape in the background. So grab the city and grab the city that's further away and now we have this and what i'll do first is i'll add a tint to this to kind of make it not fully black kind of a dark blue rather that's gonna be pretty sick something like this this looks pretty good and you want to make this 3d as well now take the second one you can add the same tint effect and this one should be a lighter color so maybe make this blue and just kind of make it light and make this a bit darker yeah i think this looks good. And now what I'll do is I'll make these two views and I'll make the second view custom view one. And now you can easily, not that one, you can take these and you can easily drag them away and get them on the same C position. So I'll do something like this and I'll also decrease the Y on this one. And you wanna place this, you wanna place the second one a bit further from the first one, so something like this. Now also decrease the opacity a bit on this one since it's supposed to just be a I think that's far away. So yeah, you can you can scale this up a bit, just make them fit nicely and just get them back and kind of get them like this. 
Now they're looking kind of small over there, so I'm going to scale these up and just bring them up. Maybe that's a bit too big. But yeah, I think this looks good. Make this, I'll make the background thing a bit darker and I'll decrease the opacity. So yeah, that's great. So next we're going to make the rectangle. So go over here and grab the hold this and grab the rounded rectangle tool and just make a, make sure nothing is selected and just make a nice rectangle, something like this. Doesn't have to be perfect, I'll take the stroke off. Okay, so now we have a rectangle and you're gonna wanna click this circle thingy here. So it's kind of a half circle and click this. And what this does is it makes it an adjustment layer. So basically whatever effects you apply to it, they'll be applied to everything behind it. So you're just gonna add a fast box blur. So place it on this and just increase the box radius and there we go, pretty cool. Can I adjust it, make it look nice. Yeah, that's good enough for me. All right, and let's make the animation to the rectangle first. So you can go over here to the rectangle and the rectangle path, and you want to unlink this. So uncheck this and make a size keyframe here and just drag it a bit forward and just decrease the first value to zero. And then we have this nice animation. You can select those and easy ease them and go to the graph editor and make just a small little graph. It doesn't have to be crazy. And make it way shorter bit more shorter and that's kind of nice. Now let's make the shadow effect which Iman had. So go ahead and duplicate this and take off the adjustment layer thing and make the fill a gradient and now you change the gradient to a normal white and black gradient. So like this and you can adjust these thingies to make it a gradient like this and also we can take off the fast box blur for now and just go ahead and adjust this like this and I also had a fill effect here to make it entirely black because there was some white thingies. <laughs> no that's pretty good. Now we can make this 3D and I centered the anchor point here and you can bring this down and you can use this X slider to make it kind of like this. Bring it a bit back and bring it down you can kind of play around with the settings till it looks good. All right, this is good enough for me. I'll also decrease the opacity of this shadow so it's not that dark. Great, this is looking good. Now you can parent the shadow to the shape so the animation gets copied over. Great. And yeah, make the rectangle 3D as well. And now you kind of just want to duplicate this however many times you like and move them over kind of like this. Yeah, apparently the shadows are a bit on the all right now i have it duplicated a few times so i'm gonna select everything here i'll make all of this a bit further away so drag the z thingy kind of like this that's pretty nice now all of them appears at once so we don't don't want that so what i'll do is i'll i'll just cut them here and go ahead and offset them a bit to make them appear one by one great now let's make the text so command t for the type tool and just well, huh, I wrote a five because I only made five of them for the sake of this tutorial. But yeah, make this a bit bigger, make the font Montserrat, maybe bold. Now let's do extra bold. Yeah. And then you can duplicate this. And for the lower text, I'll change this to bold and make it say whatever it said. Ways to unfuck your life. Right. Now you can play around with the text all you like, make it look however you want. I'll decrease the font a bit and perfect. Make the text 3D as well and move it a bit up and move this one up as well. Great, now we can add some effects to this, so add a glow. Make the first glow, now you can change this color B to be white and make this AB colors. And then just make the first glow something like this and then I'll duplicate this glow and I'll make it a purpley color. Now it's more of a blue. Just play around with the settings till I get it looking something like this. Now I'll copy these glows and I'll add them to this text. Now that looks pretty good for me. Let's go ahead and make a camera now so we kind of understand what's going on. So make a new camera here and now you can make a keyframe like five seconds forward and come back and make it zoom in a bit on the landscape and you can easy ease this and I'll make it start fast. So I'll make some make a graph like make a pretty crazy graph like this. 
And now we'll know when we want to animate the text. It's lagging a bit because I'm recording. But yeah, I'll make the C position a bit further away. Kind of like this. Great. I'll make these texts a bit up. And let's go here where this text starts showing up. And for this character, we can just make a position and opacity keyframe and make it down and make the opacity zero. And you can easy use this and I'll make a left graph for this as well. So something like this. And I'll extend it a bit. That looks good. Now what I'll do for the longer text is I'll make a... I'll just use a fade up words. Keep it simple. This is good enough because it doesn't have to be exactly like his. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Now we have to animate all of the assets. Now first I'll grab the hourglass. So this one. And you can turn it to a 3D for stuff. And then we'll add some effects. Let's add a tint to make it kind of dark. Not exactly like this. But try to get a some of maybe of a purpley look, kind of like that. And you can just make it look however you like. I'm just gonna do something, something kind of like this. Yeah, I added a vignette to make it kind of a more subtle dark. Maybe I'll change this up a bit. Yeah, I'll just do something like this. Doesn't have to be exactly like he has it. Now you can rotate it a bit and you can press S and get the scale down and place it around here. Now, if you look at the mouse clip, it's constantly rotating so press R, in, R on your keyboard make a Z rotation and just go forward a few frames so maybe something like this and rotate it to the opposite side and this go forward a bit and rotate it back to what it was and now it looks like this I'll extend this a bit and I'll select them all and I'll make this toggle hold keyframe so it's it looks like it, it gets that laggy look to it which Iman uses quite a bit. And now to make it loop easily, you can hold Alt and click this rotation keyframe. You can just type loop out with the capital O and then brackets and press enter. And now it's gonna loop out. Maybe it's moving a bit too quickly, so you can play around with this. Yeah, I kinda like that. And now let's add the dollar. Grab the bill and I'll add a tint effect to this one as well. I'll make the black some bluish color and make the white a bit darker maybe something like this now i'll make this 3d as well scale it down place it somewhere around here and the way we add the wiggle thing is we're gonna add a warp what's it called wave warp yeah so this one and you can already see what this effect does and i'll play around with the settings a bit i'll increase the width get it something like this and uh, low make the direction maybe seven maybe six yeah i like this this looks good enough for me i'll place it a bit above here and i'll move it away all right i like that and the last thing is this cup so add the cup make the cup 3d and you want to kind of scale. oh shit this is terrible quality all right the cups cup was really bad quality so i went and searched for a new cup and i'm just gonna mask out the cup i want so like this i'm gonna provide this cup without you having to mask but yeah this is you see behind the scenes the pain i have to go through with these videos <laughs> and just add a tint effect to this one and uh map the white to something like a dark blue to so something like this that looks good make it 3d don't make it that make it 3d i'll center this anchor point i'll bring it right over here make it away just make something like this i'm also gonna add a vignette to this to make it look better and increase it quite a bit and i'll make the position over here so it has a subtle shadow on the right side great i'm with the cup a bit lighter i thought it looked better and for this one we're also gonna make some z rotation so just simple stuff just rotate it a bit and rotate it back a bit and this one has some smooth rotation so we're not gonna add the hold so yeah just kind of make it look like that hold option and click this and make the loop out brackets that looks good the cup also has some subtle movement so i'll position it here make a keyframe there and i'll kind of make it away and a bit to the right and easy is that yeah this is looking pretty good i'll make the camera movement a bit longer so it's not that fast this is looking really good a few more things we're gonna do first off for the floor you're gonna want to add a vignette <laughs> that looks so much better <laughs> holy shit all right and you can up the vignette a bit and what the vignette basically does is it makes the edges not so sharp and just makes it look so much better i'll 
make this angle of view a bit like this and I'll make the floor a bit darker I think it'll be better so something like this I might, might also want to decrease the exposure of the floor try to make it a bit darker yeah I like that now I kind of refine the city I'll make it a bit darker I'll also add a vignette to it perfect and this one is pretty good I like it so it can stay like this this looks really good the cup is a bit too big, that's the only thing I noticed. Increase the cup size. Yeah, this looks so good. And one more thing I noticed, the 5 here appears a bit too early, it doesn't even show the animation. So yeah, I just kind of fix this, and I'll make it even longer. Yeah, I really, I really like this. This will do. And the final th things we'll do is we'll pre-compose everything. Now I went ahead and added a, a few effects. I used my effects stack and removed something, but if you want to, you can kind of copy this. So the posterized time makes it look laggy. This is what Iman uses in pretty much everything. Then the optics compensation makes the camera look like this, kinda. And turbulent displays makes these kind of wiggly lines on the grid, for example. And then just the subtle 3% noise to kinda remove the mistakes I made. But yeah, let's take a look at the full animation. Looks pretty awesome, in my opinion. Nice. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something. Make sure to actually implement what you learned. Don't just watch this and forget everything. But yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And let me know what you want to see next. Other than that, take care and I'll see you in the next one.